How's it going everyone? It's Cody B Pyrotechnics and welcome back to the channel. Today we are back with the guys from Explosive Enterprises for yet another firework display here at the Speedway. You'll notice a lot of pyrotechnic equipment such as the Cobra modules and these huge guns up here on the trailer. And that's because everything in this show is considered 1.3G which is professional grade fireworks which I don't actually do a lot of on my channel so today we're going to be getting some insight from the guys behind the scenes here with these 1.3 fireworks shows. This is just going to be a casual video and as you can see there's another trailer over here loaded with fireworks just like the one over there although these guns are maybe a little bit smaller than the ones we saw over there but anyway my mic is about to die so in this video we're just going to be walking through their setup trying to get some insight as to what actually goes on behind the scenes here with this one three stuff and maybe just maybe i'll film part of the race these guys mean business What's that little green ball you got there? Lift charge. And what are you building right now? Gas mine. How big? How big, Adam? That big. <laughs> That's probably eight, seven, eight inch. Nice. Be what, gallon and a half in there probably? Two gallons maybe? So do you have to put something else in there too or what? No. Just, just water and gas. Water to lift it. And all I did was move that ball back. No, I moved to the, um, that loop back. So it could, okay. that one's good, I think. Yeah, we just gotta spin it so that. Oh, I can do this one. Okay. So this is a smaller gas mine and that's like a black charge then? Yeah, it's a uh, smokeless powder, 2FA. Just put that in the bottom, fill it with a little water and then some gasoline. I've never actually seen a gas mine being loaded out front. I've seen them at like PGI before and in your last show here, but never seen you load one. It's really exotic. <laughs> All we're doing is just tying that off in there on the very bottom. I can put a little light in there if you need, but we're just looping it around so that, that doesn't float. We don't want the charge to float up in the water. That was just one of your smaller fireballs, but. I mean, yeah, so you got the uh, small medium and oops <laughs> that's uh i think it's six gallons of gas nice two gallons of water how high up in the air do you suppose these fireballs actually go all the way till they don't um <laughs> i mean this one's a little hotter charge so it's probably going to get a little more height before she goes but it's got to be what 150 feet i don't remember you were here last year and it yes, gets up yeah. there oh yeah and then so we're actually doing six fireballs a quarter of a second a piece apart so it'll start here, over there. So all six of these quarter seconds mark. Yeah, this is where you pulled the, the gun out of, and I'm noticing some wires here. So this hooks up to your firing system too, or? Is yeah, this that... is already run to the Cobra. Okay. So all we have to do is just tie it in right to that charge we loaded. Cool. All there is to her. What's that black one there? That is for the slat for the 18M. Okay. So we've got three positions for the uh, slices, right? That's where we just were. Now we're down here. We got more gas mines. Very true. I just was worried about it blowing out the window. Looks like that's the last position for gas mines. Yep. If we follow the wire up, um, you can see the Cobra module up here on this pallet. So you got six gas mines in total. Yep. So then these are just all scab wired to it. And then they're all tied off to the pallet so that if she goes up with the lift, it doesn't take the mod with. <laughs> True, yeah. Because that, that turns be to be an expensive lesson. Yeah. Make sure you put the loop in your hand and walk it And just out. feed it out, yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to do the slices. You're going to do the gas mines, right? Yeah. So I'll put an extra shot in my pocket in case we lose one. So what are you doing here? We're going to change the channel to what it is in the script. So we're on one right now. And the Cobra's real fun. I'm going to turn on the light here. Okay, we're going to change it to 50. Right there, on the money the first try. That never happens. One, two, three. Okay, now, 
Let's try and just pull her. All on board. Pull yep. <laughs> Devin, what you doing over there? Bug iron, four cakes into one e match or e match port that'll be sent to the module. What is this tool here you're using? This is a, we just call it a bug iron tool. It was like an old telecom tool or yep. something. And they don't make them anymore, so you can find them refurbished. So the igniters usually you would hook them up to the Cobra module just like this, but but you're doing something here I noticed. So what what is that that you're doing? I am making all four E matches, bug iron together with this tool, and then it will have one two wire strand going out, and that will go to the actual module. So they're wired in series. Okay, so you get all four of these cakes on one cue then. Yes. Make sense? Yep. What's our mascot here at Explosive Enterprises? We call him Pablo. Pretty much like a blue murder hornet. So these are in pods or pallets of 72. So these are 72 3 inch shells wired to two different slats. A um, little bit of a change from last year. You can see we marked everything a little bit better with where everything goes on the Cobras. This trailer has got um, four 72 pods of 3 inch and then two pods for four inch shells and there's 36 in each pod there so here we've got four eight twelve sixteen twenty channels just on this trailer yeah so these are our slice racks we just do it pallet mounted um and we've got the mux board slats here that connect to the cobra 18m and then we'll be firing at three different positions like i said there's a total of 45 different slices um they're roughly every minute minute and a half just to add a little more ground effect to the show and we wrap them like this, um, then they don't get air, they don't start on fire, it doesn't create a big mess. And then around the tree here, you've got two more. I'm assuming these are like the same thing, they're all replicated on the... Yeah, pretty close. We've got a middle position, left position, right position. Um, we've also got some cakes that are going to hook to these as well. So we'll get those plugged in when we set them out there. We've got another six cakes that get plugged in. And then just for a reference point, we came from that trailer over to the pallets, and then we've got another trailer here, so... These guns look a little bigger. What's going on here? So this is almost the same layout. The only difference here is we've got an additional 72 four inch shells. So that's really the only difference, a little longer trailer. There's 24 channels on this trailer and we've got them all marked out. So we go for this show in order. Um, so this one goes up to 44 channels. And in total, we're using 50 channels, um, 50 to 51 channels for the show. Okay. Now, some people may be confused seeing this black wire here. Can you kind of explain what that black wire is? Yeah, that cable just runs up to the slats. Makes things a lot easier with these 36Q slats and the quick plugs. Um, we tie everything off, so then when it comes to the end of the show, when we're all done, just rip the cords. They break right here. Super simple cleanup. All right, now you said you tie everything off. What Can you explain that? Yeah, just a little half hitch knot right here so that when the shell goes up, it'll essentially just break right inside. Makes cleanup really, really nice. And I know that uh, this is like my third time seeing your shows, but these don't have onboard cues, correct? Correct. It's all strictly slats. So that's why the black wire here yep. going up to, to these things here. Yeah, it's just too much coming into one spot, we feel. We could put the onboard cue plates here, but just don't see a need for it. We were adding it up, and just in the igniters, there's a little over 6,000 feet in igniters, igniters for this show. Wow. What's the story behind this little tent here? It's too hot, so we needed shade. I mean, when you get to be uh, my size, you know, it takes a lot of energy to keep this figure, and I don't want to lose it. Right, but, like, you bought this today. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we decided this morning when we saw the forecast how hot it was going to be that we knew we had a lot of work here. We had salute racks we had to wire up. Um, at one point in the show, we're going to have 1,200 salutes in about 30 seconds, and that took a lot of work to get ready, so we just wanted to have some shade to do it under. And this, I guess, would kind of be, like, the last trailer... Um, now these shell racks here, are these gonna be launched on the trailer or? Those will stay on the trailer. The cakes will come off. We've got 12 of these Raccoon 1-4 Pro Truno cakes, just a salute cake basically. So there'll be 1200 shots of salutes in 30 seconds followed by 72 canister salutes in about a second and a half. So she should be quick. Any difference on the way that you hook these up with igniters versus the shells over there? Um, yeah, quite a bit. The, so on these 72 shells, there's actually only two igniters and they're wired in series so that they go instantly. So everything in here is series wired together. But there's only two igniters. Everything else is done with quick match so that it's going to go instantly. The quick match kind of weaves back and forth in here. 
and then just the igniter sip that quick match. This is top tier content. You won't find this on any other channel, folks. God, I hope not. Where is it? It is a pink tire. I don't want to go in the tire. Well, that's what we were Come saying. Come on, guys. Ah, it moved. Yeah. That's what, that's what spiders do. Not that, no. I've seen bigger ones in that one. You want a pair of gloves? Just take him in. Ah, I got some. Hold on. Hold that. If I turn into Spider-Man, I'm coming back after all of you. I told you not to. I'm going to leave the straw in. <laughs> <laughs> it's in there. You got him? Oh, yeah. Let's go deliver him to the spider hornet. Wait, we gotta make oh, yeah. It's gnawing like Donkey Kong. Make small. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. All right, so clearly we are at a racetrack again, which means it's going to get real loud out here pretty soon. Yes, it is. So just a few questions for you. Obviously, we can't bring these fireworks out there onto the raceway right now. What is your plan for when we can? So when we can, we've got one of the uh, radios for the race here, and they'll let us know um, when we've got 30 minutes left, an hour left, and we'll get a pretty good idea of when we're going to be going out there. And we try and keep the setup time as minimal as possible. That's why you see these trailers here. We're shooting for like 15 minutes or less. So that's why we do all the prep. That's why we put it on trailers. That's why we do things the way we do. Yeah, so I remember last year, I didn't get much footage of the fireballs, but this year I saw you had a bunch of wires already set up. The modules are ready to go. Um, how does that work? Do you have somebody go over there while somebody else does the fireworks or what? Um, yeah, it's going to be kind of a coordinated effort. Devin will probably wind up dealing with the gas mines for sure because we want to make sure that those get done right. So we've got wires out there already. They're wired to the module. We just need to wire them to the igniter real quick. Um, drop the charge, fill it with water, fill it with gas, tin foil it. Um, and we have to tin foil it, of course, from fallout from everything else. Otherwise, it should be a quick show. And then I'll walk you over here. Right now they have the gate closed, um, so we can't actually get in here. But if we just peek around the corner, you can see the raceway right there. There's a guy driving around it right now. Um, and then up there is where everybody will be seated. So like I said, I was here last year. All the people sit there. And then the fireworks go off right over here somewhere. Well, actually the fireworks are in the center of the racetrack and we're sitting up here at the control station making sure all the fireworks go up and not that way. So this looks like it's your script. It is, this is the script from the Cobra Show Creator. It's one of the reports out of there, so it's by each channel. Um, so I've got step if needed slice because we want this guy to die a little bit and then we'll step to the slice. So it's just a note in there for me. And then we've got all of our timing. Well, you can probably hear in the background, the races have begun. Right now they're just getting this trailer loaded here. Looks like the fan slice pallets and some of these larger cakes. And then uh, as soon as the races are over, they're going to pull it out into the middle and the show will start. This is the biggest gas mine of them all. Take a look at this charge. And I can really see it. Look at that. And I imagine that's the tube, huh? No, that's the small one. Oh, that's the small. Oh my God. <laughs> look at this thing. What is that, like 13 inch? It's like five or six gallons of gas. Wow. That's a gas mine. Well, that'll be fun. Is this the last fireball? Uh, no. Between, it'll be between that one and that one. They're only half a second apart. Oh. So. Pretty big storm over there. I think it's going that way. You're gonna have, I'm gonna have to scoot it up first. Okay. Yep. So I've come to find out that the reason this is so much work is because uh, there's like a little hook down there. He's trying to get the igniter on and that will prevent the charge from floating. I got her, buddy. Did you? Got it on the last try, huh? Well, why would he try anymore if he already got it? <laughs> well, I said I'd get you guys some footage of the races, but if I go beyond this fence, I won't be able to come back. So right here is going to have to work. Take a look. It's a dirt track. They're gone.
intensified since when we got here. That is a beauty. Just grateful it's going that way. So while the races are going on, they are making their final preparations to take everything out into the raceway. So right now I'm just gonna stay out of their way, let them make their final preparations, and I'll get back to you when it's showtime. Well, the pyros are getting ready for the show. All the trailers are hooked up, minus this one. This is the last one. This is gonna be fun. This is four trailers in total. We've got trailer number one, trailer number two, number three, Number four. So four trailers in total to pull off this fireworks show. Hopefully this fireworks show goes off without a hitch. All right, I got a better view for you guys. There we go, now we're talking. Looks like our storm from earlier got a little angry. Look at that thing go. Not only do we get to enjoy our own firework display, but we get to see one of Mother Nature's too. So how long is the show gonna be? Uh, 18 minutes and five seconds. And you can see here, goes through with a lot of threes to start. Little notes to myself, step if to, needed to, to the slices. Homeland waltz, just varying it up a little bit. And then when we get you know, it's gonna take a while to scroll, but yeah. <laughs> there's 819 separate cues. Now, this is a lot different than the remote that I use. So what is this whole station here called? This is an 18R2 put into a command center with a Samsung tablet. Um, so I'll actually run everything through the touch screen because um, I can pause it, start it, everything right there. I can jump to times, do whatever we need to. All right, we're rolling out to the racetrack here. Got the trailers going in. I'm here in the golf cart with my new friend. <laughs> Looks like they're heading down on that way. And I think where they're turning is where the control center usually is. I'm feeling good. I got the GoPro 360. We should get some awesome footage of this. All right, we're dropping down. We're official now. We're gonna be driving where the racers just were. It's pretty cool. Sounds like people are ready for fireworks. Hopefully we can give them a good show. There's one of the firework guys right there. Big crowd, kind of nervous. Well, everyone just left me, so I'm here in front of all these people. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do, so I'm just gonna walk around and see what I can film. So that's a gas mine. Here's a fan slice pallet being unloaded. I don't want to get in anybody's way here, but take a look at that. Just got a big cake coming out. And then the goal is to drive this trailer over there. So this is going to be the right station. As you can see, it says right there. And now they're going to unload the middle station. Couple more cakes being unloaded here in the middle. There was only one over there, I think. Or maybe Where's two. my module? He's gonna go run the module down to that position. And now we are here at the left station where they are unloading the final pallet. And I guess the final cake. Also, a couple other gas mines over here, just behind the signage. What fun. Uh, wherever they need to. Get. You got the big gas mine. Look at the size of this beast. <laughs> Any quick thoughts? Uh, yeah, hope this goes well. Yeah, it should. I think so. If I can remember how to run a simple connector. Now, those are where those three positions were that we were just showing you. 
But uh, walking up here is the main event with all the larger shells. You can see them over there on that trailer. Uh, we got the finale right here. So everything in the finale is going off right there. And then we got more shells over there. And then way up there is where we're gonna be sitting. So I'm gonna go up there right away. I'm about to be walking on the racetrack. I feel super official right now. Look at me. <laughs> Big league. And there's the fire department. Right here is gonna be the command center. This is where all the crazy buttons are pushed. Now, the guys that are gonna be pushing the buttons, they're gonna be sitting over there. But me, I'm gonna be back here. I got a tripod. I'm gonna have my camera hooked up to this thing while the show is going off. So we got two angles in case audio goes bad on one. And then up here, I've got a real treat for you. So take a look at this 360 Max. Um, this will give us a nice shot in 360. So literally, we're gonna be able to see anything that happens over there and anything that happens over here behind the command center. Check out how official I am with the fire department. Also, take a look at this thing I just noticed. Does that not look like a mortar tube? I feel like they gotta be almost done down there. Probably just doing the last final touch preparations on the gas mines is my guess. All right, we're getting pretty close to shoot time. So I gotta get this thing ready and we'll see you in a minute. All right, they are currently arming the modules and getting ready to fire. So I'm gonna go get to my chair. Whoa. <laughs> Good thing I was rolling on the other camera. All right, the show has started. So basically what I'm gonna do is since I have two cameras out here, I got one that's gonna cover ground effects and uh, one for the aerial shots is uh, we're probably gonna run this video all the way through, the one that you're watching right now. And then if there's something I miss, I'll import a clip from the other camera. Of course, the smoke is coming right this way.
Big shells. There's got to be four or five. I think the biggest one they were doing was four. Big smoke ring up there. Oh, that was like a peanut shell. Probably gonna have to use the uh, other camera for that. Oh man, look at this. If you guys hear some noise, um, it's just me moving the mic around. I wanted to get it over here.
something Wow, I like that a lot. That must have been that big cake.
boy. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, big fireballs. Holy crap. I sure hope my mics didn't clip on that. She's gonna go nuts! There you go. Think of the show. That was nice. Yeah, I liked it. Good going on those cassettes too. Especially the pink ones. Yeah. Really like those. Nice color. So far so good. I haven't seen the whole setup, but it appears that everything on this trailer did go off. Everything here in the middle position also went off. Look at that freaking thing. There's one more trailer to look at over here. Oh yeah. Everything went off over here too. I'd say that's a pretty good success rate. Oh hey. That was a good show, man. What'd you good think? job. Did you like those gas mines? I loved them. Was that one in the beginning intentional? That scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Turn that off, I'll tell you the story. <laughs> Great surprise there in the beginning, opening up with the gas mine, love it. You gotta try it a little different every time, man. Absolutely. Keep you on your toes. Yep. What do you think of them salutes? Yeah, that was loud. That was only I couldn't hear nothing. <laughs> but those 72 canister salutes after, those are a nice way to end. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got a couple of smoky boys over here, but this all went off too. There's the monster. Look at that thing. Uh oh, we're busted. Devin, I gotta hand it to you. Excellent show. Thank you, sir. Good job on those fireballs. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, this is what it takes to put on a professional firework display, if any of you were curious, and I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time.